Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 100 of the year 2015 at magicreview.com. We're looking at it, um, that at Quantum HD by Magic Encarta. And literally, this is what you get. This box and five of these. That is all. No directions, no instructions, no nothing. So if you look at the ad trailer, you'll see uh, guys flipping these things around and doing cardistry, you know, moves and so forth with it. Um, so I contacted the creator and said, hey, what is the point of these things? And he said, well, here's a little video. It was a four minute video that had three or four different cardistry things you could do on it. The videos were done um, silently. I mean, there's music, but there's no talking. They're just close up shots. And like, for example, one of the things shown on there was Sybil, the Sybil cut. It was like a minute long explanation. I mean, that's not something you can learn in a minute by watching a silent video. That's something you need some more pointers on. Um, so I, I gotta be honest, I have no idea how to rate that. I mean, I gave it a rating, but I just have no idea what to do with this as far as the review goes. What's the effect? There is no effect. What's the method? There is no method. How's the ad copy integrity? Well, it says that this is like Batman's utility belt. Really? Okay, if Batman were real, which he is, <laughs> his utility belt is way cooler than this, guys. But I get the fantasy, I get the joke, I get the whatever, so I can't really dock him for that. Um, but the idea, so when I contacted the creator, he said, there's lots of things you can do with it. You can practice your cardistry, you can practice the pass, you can practice this, practice that. So I played around with it. And so, for example, let me get a deck of cards here. It's a regular deck of cards, and I don't know how well I can do this up here, but for example, the Gianni Mattiolo uh, Illogical Shuffle, right? I can do that pretty easily. Then there's the um, Butterfly Cut, basically two-handed Charlie, two one-handed Charliers, right? I can do a few things. I mean, I'm not a cardistry guy, but those are relatively common and simple things to do. So let's try Gianni Mattiolo. On this, and uh, I right here, when I go to grab this piece, there's two of them there. I don't know if you can see that. There, they came apart now. They don't want to come apart. They're like staticky or uh, sort of like the plunger principle. Um, they don't want to separate. So I actually can't even do the Mattiolo illogical cut with this these things. Um, I can't do, so there's five of them. So I'm going to take one of them out. And uh, trying to do the Charlie Ace here, you gotta get your finger under here. And I just, I you can, I mean, I cannot get those to break. So I, I can't even get to drop. They just want to stick together. I'm trying, I'm letting it look. Can't do it. Um, so practicing your pass, okay. Well, let's try that. <coughs> so uh, here I am, I got my big old break here. And I can actually do a decent pass with these right and i'm not trying not to expose too much of what the pass does but i mean you know what it is or you don't and so that's not too bad to do it so my question is if you're going to practice the pass why practice it with these hard plastic things when you need to learn how to do it with cards that are loose now i get you need a starting point I mean, you'd be better off just getting a couple, get a deck of cards and wrap tape around a couple little chunks here and practice that if you're worried about, you know, if you're a very, very beginner with the pass. So I, I just, I don't see the vision of what they're saying here. Uh, and the head copy was like, after a year of waiting, they're finally here. And I'm thinking like it's some big technology or something and it's, this is it. Um, they show, uh, there's a scene in the ad trailer with you know the dramatic music where the guy is merely doing this with the cards i'll slow that down for you he's just rotating them oh so i can't even do that with these things man and two of them are gone they're on the floor somewhere well um but anyway uh like i don't know what that was all about that's what it looked like he was doing nothing exciting there uh you know things where they're flipping the the cards like this again a little awkward doing this on camera here but um if you think these look cool and you have a reason to use them, go for it. It's 20 bucks. You get five of them. Um, 
I, I just don't see the vision. And now, just because I don't see the vision doesn't mean it's not there. Um, so I, it's just hard to really say what to give this, you know, how to review this thing. Um, on the one hand, it just came with the, the, the things and nothing else. And so you're really just kind of thrown to the wolves. Like, here's five red plastic things. Go have fun and give me $20. Uh, so from that perspective... I mean, you know, maybe a, a short video on how to work with these things. You know, is there a way to de-static them a little bit? Is there a way, are there any tips on how to handle them? Like, why can't I, when I can't separate them very well, is there a tip on how to do that? Um, how about more than just two um, or three, um, you know, uh, flourishes that the guy, I, I think I mentioned, he sent me the video. I had to go ask the creator for it. It doesn't come with it. Now, he said that future ones are going to get the video. So that's maybe a plus, but it's the video is only four minutes long and it teaches three or four different uh, flourishy cut things. So, you know, how much can you really learn in four minutes on, on four different flourishes? That's an average of one minute per flourish. And one of them, Sybil, it's not something you just learn in one minute. Uh, so I just don't get it, guys. I really don't. And I mean, if this might be five stars. This might be zero stars. I don't know. Um, my experience with them is that you're not given anything to do with them. Now it does say in the ad copy that it's to inspire your imagination. So my imagination has not been inspired and maybe that just means I'm an idiot. I don't know. Um, they, uh, the guy, um, the creator, I, it's magic and Carta, and that's his Facebook name. I don't know what his real name is, <clears throat> but, uh, he, in the text, or in the Facebook message or whatever said that these could be used to put a deck of cards between and wrap a rubber band around it to clamp your deck. Uh, I would think that a deck case, like the ones that um, uh, the mechanics industries now, they make the re a really good card case. I would, I would use that over these things. So I'm just not seeing why we need this. But if you see why and you think that these are great, then I'm not going to tell you you can't buy them. I mean, that's foolish of me to say that. But because I only was supplied with this, the box and the things, no instructions, and even the instructions I did get when I went and requested them from the creator um, were not that useful, frankly. I cannot, I, I feel bad going zero stars. I mean, this is the kind of thing where I might do a zero star on because there's just nothing there. It's just these five plastic things. But I, I'm i willing to admit that I may be missing a vision of something here. And so, but I certainly can't go five stars on this. I mean, there's just no way. So I have to go right down the middle. It's not gem. It's not rubble. It's a grubble. 2.5 stars. Stone stats of grubble. I don't know what else to give it, folks. If you disagree, I'm, I'm down with hearing some arguments in the other direction. Uh, but from what I can tell, that's the best I can think of. 2.5 stars. Stone stats of grubble. Time to like the video, whether you agree with me or not, um, on the on the subject. Subscribe to my channel, share it out to all of your social networks, and listen to the random my tune song of the moment, which is Oh yeah. Stand by Poison. So uh Poison. Do I have any more poison stories? I think I've told them all. Um I told you the one where my Uncle Jesse, yes, I had an Uncle Jesse. I was the coolest kid because I was like the Dukes of Hazard. I had an Uncle Jesse. My Uncle Jesse thought that uh, the blonde one was cute. <laughs> like, Uncle Jesse, those are all men wearing women's makeup, but they're all men. So, uh, speaking of that, I have heard a rumor that during that age of the glam rock and everything, that Poison got a, I don't know, a reporter or something like that said to them that their, their music's not that good and that they're just drawing a crowd because of their show and their glam and their makeup, and that's why people like them. And so they did a show with um, naked, basically, in their underwear. No makeup, no hairstyle, no outrageous costumes. They just did a show in their underwear. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard that rumor. Rumor number two, they used to be called Poi uh, Paris. And somebody wrote an article that said, Paris is poisoning our youth. So they changed their name to Paris, or to Poison. I don't know if either of those are true. And... I don't care enough to look it up and find out. So if you don't believe me, go Google it. I don't know. Tune in tomorrow, guys. Day 101. Uh, we're going to be looking at Cody Fisher's three-rope routine. Three-rope routine. 
not the rope routine. Three ropes and a thousand laughs, the funniest rope routine on the planet. We'll find out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Peace out. <laughs>